What's up, Fano? Welcome to my very first episode of Fragrance Friday with yours truly, Leanne Herawani, your Scentsy Lady based here in the Waikato. So, today on the menu, what I'm wanting to do with you guys is I am going to take you through a little sniff sesh of our beautiful new fragrances in our new Scentsy catalogue. And by the way, can I just say, your girl is famous. Check this out. Check it out. Like, seriously. Wow. Who's that? Who's that girl? I mean, come on. If you guys want my autograph, just just let me know. You know, I'm happy to give it out to you. <laughs> anyway, anyway, moving right along. We need to um, check out these fragrances. We've got 10 new release fragrances, guys, in our new Scentsy catalog for 2022. Um, and I'm going to take you through all the delicious fragrance descriptions. I'm gonna have a little sniff of each one and I'm gonna let you know what I think. Now, here's the deal. I actually am in isolation at the moment um, with COVID. I do feel so much better than, you know, five days ago when I first um, tested positive. So um, my my nose is a little bit funny at the moment, okay? So it could throw you off a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if I can trust my nose on this, but I'm gonna give it my best go and yeah, we'll see. See how we go. Alrighty, so first, fragrance that we have up is Big Surf. Here we have it here. Um, so it's blue in colour, the wax. Um, before I sniff it, I'll read the fragrance description out to you. So it's waves of citrus, surf crest over ocean flower with splashes of lemon water. Hmm. It definitely lives up to its name, Big Surf. It smells like the ocean. It smells beachy. It smells like, it smells like the ocean. That's really all I can say. I can't smell the lemon. I really can't smell the lemon water. Although, like I said, my COVID nose is, you know, not as strong as it usually is. I don't know. Overall, I will rate that a 6 out of 10. It's not bad. Usually these fragrances for me, they sort of smell like toilet perfumes, you know, like um, the fragrances that you buy in like Glade and stuff for your toilet. Um, but that was not that bad. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, alrighty? So next we have Clementine Cupcake. Now this is orange in colour. And the fragrance description says a warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. Lemon seems to be an ongoing trend at the moment. Hmm, definitely smells like a cupcake or baking. This is a bakery fragrance, by the way. Um, Big Surf was a fresh fragrance. Um, I don't actually know what clementine is supposed to smell like, but it definitely just smells like baking to me. I can smell the lemon sugar. That's amazing. Like, I didn't think I'd get, be able to smell that, but ooh. You know, that's actually warming up on me, guys. Um, lemon sugar, I love like lemon cakes with the lemon sugar, lemon icing. I can smell that in here. So I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. Usually I'm not a fan for bakery fragrances, but that one there, it's got me. I love it. Okay, the next one we have is coconuts for coconuts. Now, usually I am a coconutty girl. I love all the tropical fragrances. I love coconut fragrances, but... Um, We'll see how we go with this one. This one is clear in color, if you can see that. Um, and the fragrance description says, an ocean breeze weaves along a coastline lush with wild coconut and tiare flower. Mmm. Oh. Oh, I can smell that tiare flower coming right through. Oh my gosh, that is actually beautiful. Like. Oh, if you are stuck in isolation and you want to pretend that you're on an island, living your best life, lying in the sunshine, getting a golden brown tan, having a cocktail or a mocktail, whatever your preference is, this is the fragrance you want to warm, ladies and gents. You need this. Coconuts for coconuts. Need it. You need it in your life. Okay, next one is Daydream Oasis. Now, I can already tell by the color of this. Yeah, I always go for the greeny, bluey, pinky, uh, red fragrances, most of the time anyway. But this one here, mm, it smells so good. That is Lose Yourself in Sweet Melon and Visions of Luminous Pear Leaf and Water Lily. Guys, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. This is freaking delicious. Um... The melon comes through, the pear comes through. I don't actually know what water lily is supposed to smell like, but I can confirm. Oh my gosh, this is the best fragrance of my life. Seriously, that is amazing. 
Um, so I forgot to um, rate this one. I'm doing a solid 9 out of 10 for this only because Daydream Oasis for me really just topped it for me. So 10 out of 10 for Daydream Oasis, 9 out of 10 for Coconuts out of Coconuts. Okay, next one we have Magnolia Linen. Now guys, um, this fragrance actually, um, if you're a Wash With fan, this one has just come out in our Wash With tubs um, in the whole laundry range, okay? So this fragrance says washed linen. Dances in the breeze amid a garden of magnolia and honeysuckle. Mmm, that is actually very beautiful. It's beautiful, guys. Like, it's light, it's fresh, it's crisp. That is so beautiful. That's the only word I can describe it. Magnolia linen, you, my friend, are getting a 8 out of 10. Congratulations. Okay, next one we have is Moonflower Dreams. Now this one is soft lavender and musk. Float like a cloud over night blooming moonflower. There's that moonflower again, guys. Mmm, not too sure about this one, to be honest. Probably, it's purple in colour. Um, I'm not usually a fan of lavender. If you are, you might like this. But for me, I feel like the musk is like old lady sort of <laughs> smelling. It's giving me old lady vibes, guys. I don't know. It's not for me. I'm sorry, but that's getting a 2 out of 10, and I'm being generous on the 2, okay? Should cut that one out? I don't know. Okay. Oh, la, la. This one, I'm so excited. Pineapple mango. This one is yellow in color, and the scent description is a bright blend of sweet pineapple and juicy mango softened by passion flower. Oh, this is right up my alley. I this smells like you could eat it. It's literally like a lolly, guys. You need, you need, you need a piece of this, okay? Pineapple, mango, get it in ya. Well, get it in ya, can't. <laughs> okay, 10 out of 10 for that. Freaking delicious. Next one is pink lemon water. This one is obviously pink in colour. Um, rose water infused with refreshing lemon and a spoonful of sugar. Helps the medicine go down. That probably looked so rank. I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have like, you know, just rubbed my finger and had a sniff. But anyway, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't really like rose. But I can definitely smell the lemon and sugar more than the rose. It's very light sort of a very subtle hint of rose in there. So I'm gonna give it a three out of 10 just because it's not really my jam. Um, but anyone who else, anyone who loves rose would probably go for that fragrance. Okay, we've got two more guys. White, amber, and teak. Hmm, interesting color. She's brown. Scent description, alluring amber and teak flirt with bergamot. Fresh bergamot. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This looks like a manly fragrance. Not up my alley, but we'll have a sniff. Hmm. Yeah, nah. Mm -mm. Sorry. No. One out of ten. Only because that's not... Bleh. I don't like it. Um, I mean, it's not bad. It's a good manly scent, but I don't like the manly fragrances. So unfortunately, white, amber, and teak, you are at the bottom of the list, my friend. Okay, last but not least, we have Wisteria Waterfall. Now this one is Wisteria Cascades over Water Lotus as they bask in bright lemon sunshine. She is purple in colour. And I can smell the water lotus. Mmm, that one's actually quite refreshing to be honest. This is a citrus fragrance actually. That is the category it falls under. It's not strong enough for me. I don't know. I'm going to give that a, a 4 out of 10. I mean, I, I like it but I can't smell it enough. Um, it's very subtle. So yeah, 4 out of 10 for that one. So overall guys, that is, that concludes the new release fragrance smelling session. Um, overall, I think you guys know what my favourites were. Um, coconuts for coconuts, that was a solid 9 out of 10. Could possibly be 10 out of 10 actually. Um, Daydream Oasis, for sure 10 out of 10 and pineapple mango. Those are my three top favorites out of the new release fragrances for our 2022 catalog. 
for autumn winter. So guys, if you want to check, um, if you want to grab these free fragrances, you can actually get them for thirty-two dollars um, plus postage. Let me know if you would like me to order you some, and I can get those for you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anyway. I just wanted to um, actually have a little sniff session of the Scentsy Oil Sample Kit. So we're going to have a little sniff and let you guys know at the same time what we think. Alright, so um, hopefully I can get this out of the box. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's start with, let me just put those up there actually. Um, <laughs> what is the first one? Melon, water and aloe. How good does that sound guys? So this fragrance description says, um, a cooling mix of aloe vera and cucumber adrift in tranquil melon water. I have high hopes for this, so please don't let me down. I just touched my nose. I just touched my nose. Mm. Oh, she's good. She's good. So good. So subtle too with the melon. Like it doesn't overpower. It's not like a super strong fruity fragrance. It's you can definitely smell the aloe vera and cucumber. And then it's just a slight hint of the melon in there. So that's beautiful guys. Very stunning scentsy oil fragrance. All right, now we're going to smell the pink, pineapple, and rose fragrance. So this one is pineapple juice and juicy pear complement the serenity of silky sweet rose. Now, I'm a bit skeptical with this because it's got rose in it. Like I said before, I'm not usually a fan of rose, but... Ooh! Mm, this reminds me of like a fragrance, like something I've smelt back in the day. <sighs> Do you see my childhood? Sorry guys, I'm just reminiscing on the good old days because this literally is bringing back like memories for me. Can't put my finger on it. Is it like... <sighs> I don't know, but it's good. I like it. Um... If I was to have to rate it, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. This one, 10 out of 10. Loved that fragrance. Uh, okay, next one we have is... What is this one? Starfruit and orange zest. Sweet starfruit and a burst of mango highlighted with orange zest. Anything with mango in it has my approval. Like, you don't even have to ask me twice. Oh my goodness that is good like so good oh 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 my gosh you need this guys 10 out of 10 highly recommend if you're a fruity person you need this in your life um like i love this even more than this fragrance here like seriously you need it okay um Alrighty, next one I have is Cucumber Mojito. I feel like my husband would like this one because he loves um, Mojito Mumbo and the wax bars. Hmm. It's definitely cucumber-y. Cucumber-y? <laughs> Refreshing cucumber muddled with spearmint and a twist of fresh lime. I would love to have smelt the lime a little bit more, but it is what it is. It definitely just smells like cucumbers for me. So if you like cucumbers, that probably will be right up your alley. Okay, what do we have here? Wild coconut and sugar cane. Hmm. This one is coconut and sugar cane swaddled in the sweetness of vanilla. Hmm, she's nice. Definitely a nice fragrance for vanilla lovers. Like it smells vanilla-y with sugar mixed into it, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's nice. I personally, like I said before, you guys will get to know me very quickly. Fruity, florally, two faves. Vanilla, sort of, but it has to usually have like a scent of um, fruit in it for me. That's nice, but um, I would 
prefer it to have like a fruity hint to it as well. So it's a good a good fragrance. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Okay, last but not least, we have Sweet Eucalyptus Lime. Holy mama. Oh my gosh, that smells like something. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it is so good. Oh, what is it? It smells like the Coco Lime Scentsy Wax Bar that just got discontinued in our last season. I stocked up on that bar because it's one of my favorites. So I'm so glad that they have something that smells like that wax bar in our Scentsy Oil collection. Oh my gosh, that is heavenly. Okay, so this fragrance description, if I can find it down here. Zesty grapefruit and lime deliver a playful kick to sweet eucalyptus. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay guys, so top three picks for our Scentsy Oils um, for this season's catalogue is definitely sweet eucalyptus lime. Um, the other one, where did it go? Oh yeah, starfruit and orange zest. I need to sniff it again just because it was so good. Oh. I could eat this. If I could, I would want to eat it. That is amazing. And then the last one would definitely be the melon water and aloe. Oh, so good. So refreshing. Love. So guys, there you have it. There you have it. That is my little sniff session for you guys for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, and we'll see you guys next Fragrance Friday. Smell you later. <laughs> Bye guys.